This is Umar Ahmed for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I've got Archie and Dennis together because Archie's car's going to get towed in a second. So, uh, yeah, how are we doing, boys? July 10th, we're back out. Yeah, definitely, mate, definitely. We're both ready. We're both pushing each other in the gym, training hard. Uh, we're both the two top highest trainers in the gym. What do you yeah, reckon with that, Archie? That's, yeah, that's a good shot. It is a good shot. We do push each other very, very hard. And listen, July the 10th, you'll, you'll, you'll see that. One minute percent. Archie, let me come to you first. Obviously, Shackle Stevenson over the weekend with a win. What did you make of the performance, Arch? What did you make of it? Did I'm asking you. No one cares what I think. What did you make of it? Because I, uh, I struggled to watch it, to be honest with you. I managed to get through it. I did manage to get through and watch the fight. But look, listen, he, where credit's due, he, he won. He won every round, you know what I mean? But just let me just handle business on July the 10th and I'm on him. He's got a massive target. He knows I'm on him. I'm tweeting him every day. And then we'll get that fight going. I'm sure Frank... And the team can uh, can sort it out. To be fair, you did mention July 10th. You have got a tough challenge for the WBO Global Title. Also, congratulations on becoming a father for the third time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I had to had to kind of abandon that date because yeah, he had a new kid. But um, yeah, July 10th. What do you expect from Souza? Uh, well, I've had a little butchers at him, and I tell you the truth, he's just a typical Mexican sort of style fight. Just wants to come in there, go to work. So we'll see. We might see a sharpshoot of Mexican, or we might just see. Uh, Twinkle toes, but see, I don't know what I'm going to come in yet, but either way, big, big performance, it's due, it's, it's definitely due, and being down at the eye box alongside this lunatic and the others in there, um, I'm in the best shape as possible, mentally and physically. Well, Dennis, you've had some big performances recently, we're getting another one July 10th. Definitely, mate, listen, there won't be no twinkle toes for me, my friend, I'm coming in there and I'm, just, I'm looking to take someone straight out, this time I'm coming with bad intentions, um, I ain't had a stoppage in two fights, so this fight, I come for the knockout, 100%. Off the leash? Al zipped me off the leash, and uh, they kept me on the leash for two fights in a row now. So, I'm sorry, big Al. Big, big baldy, Al, should I say. It ain't happening again, my friend. I mean, are you putting a bit of pressure on yourself there? Because I know, I know you said you've gone the distance twice out there, and, and fans tune in to see you get them vicious stoppages, but... A lot of boxing fans will know that you perform well in them fights still, so are you putting a bit of pressure on yourself, asking for that knockout? Not really, but uh, listen, I've got power in both hands, and the, and the two fights did go the distance, I hurt both of them. Uh, the, the last guy I fought, I broke his nose, and he was faced with a, with a very big mess, and, uh, but Al wouldn't let me put the pressure on again. But, no, but listen, Al's a very, very, very clever coach. Why take risks in fights when he just takes one shot? And that last opponent I had, he, he had all he had his chance was one was a one shot. So he was dangerous with, 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 with a one punch. He's very strong. So um, take no risks and get the W. But this time I come for the knockout. Okay, well listen, boys. I don't want you to get any trouble with your car out there. So I'll let you go. We'll have a we'll have a proper chat on fight week. All right, on July 10th fight week. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks.